In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save seeds from your favorite pollinator plants, Mexican sunflower, zinnias, and cosmos. And you can easily save these seeds for the following year to plant wherever you want or to share them with friends and family and neighbors. So here we go. gorgeous Mexican sunflower. It will self-seed, but if you want to share the seeds, because these are a great pollinator plant, then by all means, they're loaded. I save my seeds in these little handy envelopes that I get in a big box at Staples. Um, they're perfect. You want to save your seeds in something paper so that they stay dry. And then I put little labels on them so I remember what they are. And little instructions like the full sun, how deep do you plant them, etc. etc. So with the Mexican sunflower, this is going to be the same process for every plant, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you one here. It's very easy. So here's the one that's already dry. You just cut it. Oh, there it is. And I just put them in, you know, Tupperware that friends give you when you have dinner at their house and you have take home. I just use those containers. Um, and that's the seeds. It's, so, it's this easy. You just cut them. This one's already dry. So I'm just breaking up the seeds. Those are the seeds that you can share and plant. There's no... Uh, big deal about this nothing complicated it's just that easy and there you go Mexican sunflowers this is my last last cosmos of the season right here she's on her way out thank you cosmos and right here is where you collect the seeds all right so I'm going to show you the seed right here. And that's it. Those are your seeds. Those will be great next year. <laughs> So these are the zinnias, and these are done. Let's clip. Clip and save. Okay, so I'm just putting them in my little container. Some of them are dry, some of them aren't quite dry yet, so I'm gonna leave them here and let them dry. I just wanna make sure I get them, some of these, because I do want to share these. Once you've collected your seed pods, and they're dry and you've gone through broken them up you're gonna be left with this stuff and you have to find the seeds out of that so you need to know what the seeds look like where well, there's a seed these are zinnias that's a seed so here's an example of what each of the seeds we talked about looks like so there's your zinnia seeds Mexican sunflower and cosmos. So just kind of filter through the stuff and you're looking for these seeds. And you don't have to clean them if you don't want to. Which makes putting them uh, in the seed packs a little bit easier. <laughs> and you know that you've got seeds among the stuff. The bloom stuff. Okay. And I'll pull out and let you see that. There are three different shapes. You have this for a reference. Okay. 
Now you know, and you can do it. So I hope that this has been uh, helpful for you and encourages you to save seeds and share seeds next season and spread flowers all over the planet. And until next time, plant food, grow peace. All you need to grow.